teachers present in normal, well-built person. These elevations are known as in relation to the human body. These elevations are very prominently situated. They are situated. These are known as anatomical body landmarks. What is that? So, 
जाओ ओपन करो स्टमक अच्छा है लिवर अच्छा है पेट का स्पीन अच्छा है पेट का तो किडनी खराब है वो दिस इज नॉट योर गुड टाइम टू सेट अप ऑफ दिस इज पॉसिबल नो वे दैट्स व्हाई पेन ऑफ द मन इज ड्यू सो मेनी थिंग्स इट बी सो मेनी थिंग्स इट बी रिलेटेड टू बॉडी इट बी रिलेटेड टू द स्टमक इट बी रिलेटेड टू द बॉडी it may be related to the spinal cord it may be related to the core it may be related to the spleen okay right so many structures pancreas so many structures that's why you have to come to a conclusion which organ is involved is that clear so now the doctor is ready i finish the appendix activities so waiting actually to be come operator is up come over there okay sir so now i'm given the idea What is the exactly the meaning of sarpe sanatani? What is the definition of study of the internal organs of the human body in relation to the external surface? In external surface, what is the important thing? Anatomical, bony, and what is the definition of it? It's an elevation of the bone. It's a prominent elevation of the bone, which are present in normal individual, well-built person. Okay, which is covered by only skin and tissue. That's it. That's it. These elevations are perfect length. They are present on the bones, on the induction areas, very very prominently. They are not absent. They are present, right? So now, in relation to that, she is going to operate. Now she plans for it, including that uh, what is that called as surface anatomy, right? You plan for it. Now. So the pain is your. Plan. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You learn. You do the mistakes. I don't care, because she's not going to die. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I get the injection here. Mm. So, but I think that's fine. Now, at least she got an idea. So, why to wait to find the organ? Organ is situated in the right area. Of course, that's fine. Number one, I told you anatomical body line. What is the important anatomical body line landmark here? What I told you, anterior superior index line. Point number one, you have to take the pen as a surgeon and mark point number one. Mark it. Just like that, just like that. Okay, fine. Okay, that that gives an impact that you never forget in your life. Number one, because what is this anterior superior index line? It is an anatomical body landmark, which is which is present in all individuals. Whereas in bumpy persons or fat individual, we can only have all pain. You can ask the question. So in fat individuals, how to you have to all pain and see? Then you mark it. Then you mark it. Is that clear? In some thin individuals, it is visible. It says like, "Hi, ah, I'm here." <laughs> Just you have to mark there. Number one, point number one. As a surgeon, number two, with the prominent, like another important thing is that in the anterior abdominal wall, you have seen an opening. That is called as umbilical. Yes, very good. Have a look. Like the second point there, doctor. No. Point number two. Yeah. You mark it too. Join the line. Okay, from the anterior superior index spine to the umbilicus. Join a line and show them. Like this. Is that clear? See the anatomical body landmark. How it is helping in marking the organs, internal organs, right? Now you divide this line into medial two third and lateral one third. Okay, so that's that's one thing. This is the medial one third and lateral two third. So just divide it and mark a point there. Do it. Medial one third, ah, okay. lateral two third. Yes, exactly. You mark the. Yes. That is the called as the point is called as McBurney's point. What is that called? McBurney's point. Oh, okay, fine. I like. I like. Mac Burney's point. Okay. If I want to draw a line diagram, I will show. This is the cost of margin. This is the umbilicus. This is the anterior superior iliac spine. Umbilicus. Okay. You draw the line from here, point number one, to the umbilicus, and you are going to divide. Okay. You are going to divide. This is the senior. This you make a correction. This is the lateral one third. A medial two third. 
create a correction. This is the one. This is called as back for this point. Now I am giving one example for this, for one example for the importance of subspace anatomy and importance of anatomical body patterns. How you are marking. Okay, exactly like this. So many organs can be marked here. An individual cannot take in a grass anatomy, I will give that idea. Okay, now one example, what you have to understand what exactly I mean. Right? That's enough, right? So now, after that, what she is taking here? She is taking in incision at the level of what? Magbarni's bone. At the level of mouth. Just one inch is enough. Just one inch is enough. Take an incision, take the layer by layer muscles. Then enter the peritoneum. Then put it inside and take the appendix. Directly you are going to test the appendix. And take it out like this. Thumb, tight, cut it and throw it out. That's it. Send to histology. That's very important. Histopathology is very important. Any operative organs, you have to send it for histopathology. Remember this. Is that clear? Right. Now, I will I will please go and sit here. You also, like for a while, you take a rest. Please sit down. Sit down. Yes. Last. You come. You come. Send that. Come here, doctor. Yes, yes. You both have come. See now. So some of the important terminologies, other terminologies, so you please start there. Okay, fine. Can you able to see my lecture? Yes, that's fine. Now uh, see now. Some of the important things when you're writing a prescription, when you're writing a case history, again I'll come to anatomy. Anatomy, I'm going to like teach in a different way. That's absolutely Indian style, Indian flavor. That is number one in all over the world. Okay? <clears throat> it's not given in the book. These are all the things because this impact makes you a very good doctor, this, this knowledge. Right? Uh, for example, like uh, intuition. What is exactly the anatomical position of a normal human? See here? What is the normal anatomical position? Question put around. Stress mode low. Now, if you're not answering, I'm going to answer uh, definitely. What is anatomical position? They'll ask. What is the anatomical position of a normal individual, human body? Human body. See here, straight upright position number one. This is the head, eyes forward, facing forwards. Is that clear? Right? And the hands, see here, the hands, the palms are facing are forwards. Is that clear? The toes of the legs facing forwards. Is that clear? Right? This is exactly. So head is actually straight like this. It is not like bent or bent. No. This is absolutely called as anatomical position of a human body. When you are talking about the anatomical position according to this, you are going to talk about the terminology of anatomy. You are going to talk. You are going to write the case history. You are going to write so many things. How? See here. Anything, anything towards the upper part of the body may cut the body into two halves, lower and upper. Okay? So when you take, for example, I take as the umbilicus. We'll take it as the umbilicus, upper part. Okay? Otherwise the diaphragm. Okay, diaphragm we'll take. Below the diaphragm and above the diaphragm. So below the diaphragm, below the diaphragm, if I want to explain something, okay? something, it is called as cephalic or it is called as superior. Yes. Understand? Upper part, towards the upper part of the body. Superior. Anything, anything. You, you, for example, for example, I'll take this book. Don't forget about the body itself. I'll take this book. I'll divide it into two half. See, I'm holding it like this. This will become upper, this will become lower. Common sense. So anything related to the injury in the upper part of the book. See here. Injury on the superior part of the book. Same thing. Then there is a tear of the paper on the lower part of the book. <laughs> Inferior part of the book. It's good. Very easy. What is the meaning of superior? All the definitely. So if something related to the superior part of the body, human body, you are going to describe. Okay. Anything towards the lower, but that means anything towards the leg and foot, towards the ground, towards the ground, anything towards the ground you are explaining that is called as inferior. Inferior. 
So very easy, very easy. Or anything towards the downwards is called as integral. This is absolutely anatomical position. Is that clear? Right? So I will divide this body. I will divide this body into two halves. Exactly at the center. This is called as mid uh, sagittal plane. The body is cut into two halves. Right then? Yeah. Left side. Right. Is that clear? Right then? Left side. Half. Two halves of the body. I'm going to join it again. I'm going to join it again. Is that clear? See, when we are cutting the body into two half and I have joined it at the midline, this is called as midline. You, if you want to explain something towards the midline, if you want to explain something towards the external, or internal or external, see here, towards the midline of the body, human body, that is called as medial. 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 Okay? Right. That's the other one is very important. Medial. Don't call it as medial. Medial is wrong. Medial. Yeah. Yeah. So towards the towards the towards the midline. Anything you are explaining towards the midline. Anything towards the midline it is called as medial. Anything it is going away from the midline. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Lateral. It is called as lateral. Lateral. Okay? Same terminology. Same terminology. There is another way. One is called as internal. Another one is called as external. You will have to have to have it. Yes, yes. Internal and external. That is also like something similar to this. Okay? I will explain to this same terminology when it comes with the organs. It will be very easy for you. Okay? Right? So when you learn superior. When you learn inferior, when you learn medial, when you learn lateral. See, terminology, we are going to use. So, there is a RTA patient, comes with an injury, right? On the left side, on the left side of the forehead, whether it's towards the eyebrow or towards the scalp. So, that means you have to explain in the upper part or lower part, or superiorly or inferior. 